All right, how you doing? It is the radio guy, the Dr. Mike Prince. Welcome to the Friday edition of the Mike Prince Show right here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And, of course, you know, in the fall on Fridays, I mean, it is football coverage. Reminding you that our Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook handle is the Mike Prince Show. The website is obnradio.com. And, of course, on YouTube, we're at Open Mic Broadcast Network. And without any further ado, we'll jump right into today's episode. As we mentioned, it is Football Friday. And because of that, it is time for us to give our picks for the MEAC and the SWAC games of the week. We'll get you up to speed with our local high school coverage first. The Royal Falcons will be taking on the Grains tonight at 7.30. Royals coming in with a 2-3 and three overall record. Waller will be taking on Tomball tonight. The Bulldogs are coming in with a 1-4 and four record. And the Hempstead Bobcats will be hosting bowling tonight at 7.30. Bobcats coming in with a 3-2 and two overall record ready to resume play after their bye week. Of course, you can listen to the Bobcats tonight. You can also listen to the Bulldogs right here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And now for our collegiate perspective on this week's edition of the Mike Prince Pick'em Week. Blinn Buccaneers will be on the road. They'll be at Cisco taking on the Wranglers. Blinn jumped from number 11 to number 9 this week. And they'll be kicking off at 3 p.m. to take on Cisco. Blinn should come back with the victory on that if all things play out the way they should. Now for our MEAC and SWAC pickups. Our MEAC game of the week was featuring North Carolina A&T and the FAMU Rattlers. This game has had a sudden of changes and impacts due to Hurricane Michael and the cause and effect that this devastating storm has left behind. And because of that, I, I am going to have to somewhat lean with the home team of the Aggies this week in what is a huge game for Coach Willie Simmons and the FAMU Rattlers getting that program around the bend, if you would. I'm going to have to let the logic override the heart and pick the Aggies to win by eight against the Rattlers on this weekend. Alabama A&M and Alcorn. This, all of a sudden, has become a very, very impactful game. It will be homecoming for Alabama A&M. Coach Maynard has the Bulldogs playing lights out, doubling up on Texas Southern last week, coming back feeling good with an opportunity to gain momentum and leapfrog over Alcorn, who happened to have a devastating loss to Alabama State just last week, five overtimes, if you recall. In this game, we cannot underestimate just how good Alcorn truly is. And we cannot underestimate the work that Coach Maynard has put in in such a short time with A&M. But once again, if I'm going to rest on logic and not the heart, I'm going to go with the Braves to come out victorious in this game. And I think the Braves will pull it out by six. And for our featured game of the week, the Prairie View A&M University Panthers hosting the Southern Jags. This game will be a very exciting and entertaining game from my vantage point, from the way I see things measuring up on tape. But I believe the Panthers will have enough firepower to overthrow Southern University on their quest toward the Western Division of the Southwestern Athletic Conference with a 13-point margin of victory this weekend over the Southern Jags. So, our picks will be North Carolina a t from the MEAC, Alcorn, and Prairie View from the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Now, you've heard the show by now about the Ghost Whispers and all this, that, and the other. Coach Dawson Odom's name is still floating hot. In particular, back from whence he came 
from the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. He is an alumnus of North Carolina Central. North Carolina Central are not off to the start that they wanted since the exodus of Jerry Mack. Words of whispers, yet again, are saying if things end abruptly for Coach Odoms at Southern, don't be surprised if he ends up back home in Eagle Nation leading the charge for North Carolina Central. We'll see how all of this plays out. We'll keep you posted. Keep our ears to the ground and our eyes wide open. Want to remind you that you can call in on the message line 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 713-570-6736. Some of you have chimed in on some of the reporting that we've done on this week. Uh, some for, some against, and that is all fair in talk radio. Quality talk radio should be about stimulating conversation beyond the show. At least have you thinking outside the box and start opening your eyes to everything that's going on around us and not in particular only what you want to see. So keep the chats coming. Keep the conversation flowing and keep listening to the Mike Chris show right here on the open mic broadcast network. I must exit stage left right now. Hopefully you all have a fantastic weekend. PV nation. Let's get ready to roll. Let's step a little bit closer toward that Western title. Who you're rooting for. I am the radio guy, the doctor, Mike Prince. And until the next time, You guys be blessed, and we'll see you on the other side.